So in this lecture, I want to talk about how to practice what you've learned in this course and how to make sure you are able to carry out the tasks you've been taught to do. Now, firstly, as mentioned in the introduction to this course, this is a hands-on course. So what does this mean? This means that in this course, you are strongly encouraged to get your hands dirty. Yes, you, your actual hands, typing on your keyboard the things you learned in these lectures. So a few of you might be wondering, how does this work? So let's talk about how this works. Basically, the lectures in this course will proceed in a two-step pattern. The first step will always be to discuss the concepts. What's going on? What are we trying to accomplish? How does it work? And so on and so forth. That's the first step. The second step will be to implement those ideas in actual working code. This is where getting your hands dirty comes into play. You see, what I want you to do is, when you see these lectures, I want you to open your own notebook or your coding environment and start typing out the stuff you see so that you learn how to implement these concepts yourself. Too often, what I see is students just downloading notebooks and hitting play, and what ends up happening is that they think they know what they're doing, but in practice, they are completely incapable of writing any code themselves. And if you ask them, do you know how to write this code, they will say yes. And then if you ask them, well, how much of this code did you actually write? The answer is none of it. And you know, if you ever get a job or work on a project, that's what you have to do. You need to write actual code, not just believe in your mind that it can be done. The real world requires you to code, not to just watch other people code or download code that's already been written. The real world doesn't reward you for simply believing in yourself. The real world rewards you when you produce useful outputs. So that's what you're learning to do in this course. Produce useful outputs, not just thinking you can. Now, this course is mostly an API-focused course. This is opposed to a more theoretical course, where you might be taught an algorithm and then be expected to implement that algorithm from scratch. For this course, being mostly an API-focused course, you're not going to know the syntax until I actually show it to you. So in that sense, you will need to see the code as you code. I think this is important to mention since many of my courses are courses where you are taught algorithms and then you implement those algorithms as an exercise. This, however, is not one of those courses. In this course, you will need me to show you the syntax, which you will be shown in the lectures. Now, you might be wondering, isn't coding a mental thing? Why do I actually physically have to code? Isn't it enough to just see some syntax with my eyes? And well, the answer is no. This has to do with a concept called muscle memory. By typing, you are building muscle memory, which will help you produce similar code in the future. Now, for those of you who might be suspicious of this claim, please email me, and I'll send you a link from a famous machine learning professor from Stanford who recently wrote about this. It is simply undeniable that this is good for your learning experience. And if you don't trust me, then you can at least trust this Stanford professor who is very well known in the machine learning community. Now, one thing you'll notice while watching the code lectures is that I myself do not type the code during these lectures. Of course, that's completely unnecessary. Some students in the past have made the mistake of thinking that because I wasn't typing that they also could not type. Of course, this is very silly. You don't need me to type in order for you to type. When you see any code, you can type that code. This allows me to focus on explaining things to you, which is more useful than just typing on the keyboard. And guys, just so we're clear, when you see a 20 minute lecture of just typing straight through, which is what you might find in some other course, this is not an accurate depiction of how that code was actually written. For a lot of this kind of code, sometimes it takes hours and maybe even days to finish. So if you think watching me type a notebook from beginning to end is going to give you some idea of how it's done live, it won't. It would simply lead you to a false impression of how to write code in the real world.